Bom dia. Um, it's another warm day. Summer's not over. Um, <laughs> uh, what are we? 34 degrees, I think, today. So yeah, it's still warm. Sweating. Um, so this week, I think Chris mentioned in the last video that um, my mum's coming to visit. Woo! Um, so she arrives on Wednesday. So it's going to be a pretty full-on week to try and get some Porto content out for next weekend. So we thought, figured we'd do a little quick video in the middle of kind of our daily logistical challenges. Um, so today is water day, so we're going to go and collect our drinking water. So we thought we'd take you along with us. Be some cool bin finds. Just found these uh, beautiful pieces of wood by the bins that are going to work really well for our cabinet in the kitchen. Look at these! Why would you throw this away? Look how beautiful it is. So we've got our water, um, we generally go through about 12 to 15 litres every day, um, that's just drinking water, cooking, cups of tea, coffee, pretty much it. Um, for the shower we use the well water um, and sometimes for like washing up and stuff like that if we're a little bit low. Um, so we pop all that into an IBC tank, um, the thousand litre one, um, it would probably fill up maybe once or, once or twice a month, probably. Um, and then, so yeah, we use that with a shower, and we, we haven't got running hot water at the moment or anything to, to heat up water, so what we do is boil up eight litres, well, boil up, get, get eight litres of water to about 50 degrees, and then... Um, and then pop it into like a bucket, effectively, um, and top it up with cold water to uh, to get the temperature right. And we've got a little um, 12 volt USB, um, which charges on USB, um, little shower pump, like camping style one. I'll show you it now. Just done some grape stomping, so it's good timing because I need to wash my feet because the wasps are following me around tonight. Here is our IBC tank, all covered in um, rugs to stop the algae from growing. 
Um, so this is the bucket we use for a shower. We pop it up there and then pump. This is the little shower setup. Um, got it off uh, Amazon. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple little pump on the shower head. And it has surprisingly good um, good pressure really. Lovely. This is our little shower block. Um, I think we've probably given you a tour of this before, but we'll give you another one. A little compost loop. And then here's where we shower. So there's a big hole dug under there with a pipe that goes under there and comes out there. Um, yeah, it works treat. Um, one thing that is going to need to be done before winter is to pop a roof on it. Um, I think we'll probably do that October, November time, just before it starts smashing it down. Here is the well. Just about to see how low it's come. Yeah, we need to fill the IBC and water some trees and stuff up here. So I will show you how we go about doing that. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> and when we want a bath instead of a shower, we drive to the beautiful Maroteca Dam.
the number four. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> We're just having a rearrange. A Welsh couple in their natural habitat. <laughs> Can you hear it? It's been raining all morning. Hello! <laughs> I've not been very good at filming this week, um, luckily you has been on it. Um, but I thought I would show you the project I've been working on today. Um, I'll just flip you around. So I've mostly been focusing on this top area of the land, just sort of around the cabin and the kitchen, um, which we've never really been too sure of how we're going to lay it out. Um, and I think the more time we've spent here, the more we've sort of started gaining an idea of how we're using the space. So I've just been adjusting this bed here because it's starting to go over, so I'm going to be planting it up soon. I've got a few little bits in there. Um, and now the cosmos are outside of the bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just adjusted this because we walk here a lot more. Um, and then just outside the cabin, we need to prepare for the winter because it's going to get really muddy um, so I've been pulling these stones that we originally were using when we first did the driveway and obviously we've now moved the driveway so I've been putting them up here and moving some of the stones that were inside the barn I think it's looking really nice there's a very Japanesey vibe <laughs> going on uh, so I'm just going to go and get some more stones now I don't know if you can hear, but there are loads of starlings in our cork tree. I think they're starlings making an absolute symphony of birdsong. So I'm going to go and get some more stones now and I'll show you where I'm getting them from in case you weren't here from the beginning and have no idea what I'm talking about. And this is the leftover from making wine this morning. We bottled a load of it up which is exciting so there'll be a video coming soon with the full process of our wine making. So I'm just down at the bottom of our land now and this is 
the very first driveway that we um, had to construct to get on and off the land. Now luckily we have a much easier access route so I'm moving all the stones here because they've become very slippy. Definitely slid down this driveway a few times. <laughs> So I'm hoping as we clear it, it's going to turn back into uh, a more <laughs> a grassy area. It's just got sand on it now. Um, and in fact, when we get next door, there's another access point here. So I think we will use this as the entry um, and actually close this up with the wall here and then plant this up, maybe, I don't know. We have so many plans, but we just don't know which which will stick. Um, and when we first when we laid the driveway here, we actually put down these panels to hold the stones, which worked really well. Um, I think they're for like turf actually, but we used those and pinned them down and then filled them with the stones. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in a sticky situation, uh, that worked really well for us. And now I have all these that I need to make a new plan for something with. Or maybe we'll sell them if we don't use it, if we don't find anything. Because that's a lot of plastic that I wouldn't want to throw away. Uh, some of them broke a bit as we pulled them up. But if anyone's got any ideas of good projects with these... I guess in the end I could always just use them for um, starting seedlings as well. So these are the same stones that we've used in the bathroom as well. So I'm thinking I'm put them on the floor out here because it gets a bit wet from the IBC muddy hand water <laughs> um, and I've dug a tiny little trench here I don't know if it's going to work with the stones in but I normally empty the water bucket into here and it travels all the way down here and waters my wisteria and I can't remember what this is Bougainvillea I think is how you would say it if it is that and here's one of my loofah plants the one that's doing really well it's not had any flowers yet but it's really happy so I wonder if it's because it's had more water and also a really supportive thing to grow up so we'll see if that gets any flowers which will be exciting and I think it's quite funny growing loofahs up the bathroom <laughs> and then we really need to get a roof on here pretty soon now that it's getting closer to rainy season so I think we're going to use the same as what we've got in the cabin and just put it there and then we were talking about maybe putting a clear plastic one on so it doesn't get too dark on this side and then on the other side have the non-plastic one because I think then in the summer it would just be too hot under the plastic. We'll see. So many decisions to make. I feel like I get decision fatigue all the time. I'm going to continue putting my stones here. work <laughs> it's only about 25 degrees right now but uh, when you're wheelbarrowing wheelbarrows full of stones uh, it's quite sweaty um, but whilst I'm here I actually thought I would show you this really cool thing my mum got us so I know Yuan's been showing all the ways of coping with being off grid um, and it is how we heat the water for our shower We've got two of these bags, thanks mum, <laughs> um, and they actually work really well. So you just fill them up with water and because it's black, you put it in the um, sun. Obviously it's very hot in the sun here and they actually get really, really hot. So to the point where 
Um, we even have to add cold water to make it a nice temperature to show in because it get, I think it's about 50 degrees that it gets to. Um, so if you just fill that up in the morning and then in about four hours, depending on how hot the day is, uh, then it's hot enough to shower in, which is amazing because it's using no gas or electricity or anything, it's just the sun. <laughs> um, so I think our long-term plan would be you can get actual boilers that heat the water with the sun and then I've also seen people using like black tubes coiled up and you can get really hot water that way so we're thinking about all the different plans that we have uh, for the long term and then you have to find the midpoint solution as well um, but yeah I just thought they were a great little buy um, and yeah I'm very grateful to my mum for sending us them um, which is quite a funny story because getting post to us is always quite a challenge and it ended up at our neighbour's house at the top of the road and he just turned up and because our street we don't have a, a name for our quinta um, which is something maybe we could ask you guys to help us to come up with but um, yeah we just have like the road name so my mum had sent it to that address rather than our post box um, so yeah just like the neighbour at the top of the road turned up and he was like I think these parcels are for you so yeah that's always fun <laughs> This is what it is looking like so far and I just need to fill the rest in here but I'm going to take a pause now. As I have offered to cook dinner tonight uh, which I don't very often do, Yuan is the chef in this house um, but sometimes I like to and I'm gonna go pick some of our peppers and see <laughs> if I can make them work making some uh, uh, sweet chilli noodles um, so I'm going to see if the green peppers would work because I think in with the sweet sauce they might um, and yeah we shall see how it goes so these are the ones I've picked um, I mean they, they do look really good but they're just very green and then this is the one that did go red and got scalded on this side but I'm going to chop it and see what it's like inside um, and then I'm also going to get a chilli. Look how amazing these are looking. They're so big, those two. But I'm not going to pick those for dinner. I'm going to go for a smaller one on this baby plant here. So, maybe this one. Please don't be too spicy. <laughs> and then I've just got the last few carrots. They're starting to get very rooty, if that's the right word. Like, so many roots on them because um, they're just getting to the end now but I'm about to plant some new seeds for these because it's coming into autumn planting and it's a little dark in here but this is our off-grid cooking setup so currently we've just got the hob connected up to the gas um, but eventually we will get a proper oven um, but we have a few other priorities <laughs> before we buy one of those and then this light is a solar powered light but it's one of those sort of outdoorsy ones so it won't come on unless <laughs> I go and cover the sensor use my jumper so oh I'll show you that's the sensor <laughs> um, and then if I cover it Hopefully the light will come on. Yeah, I've just turned it off. <laughs> hey, now I can see. Bon appetit. Thank you for watching this week's video, I hope you enjoyed it. You might notice I'm in a slightly different location. Um, we're actually currently in Porto, so tune in next weekend to see what we get up to here. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this week. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. And as always, we love reading your comments. You all have so many great ideas for us. Um, but yeah, currently we're in a very beautiful place in Porto.
So yeah, see you next week. Have a lovely rest of your weekend.